website. I have an online university already put together. The first thing I would do, because when I found out about it, I was pissed. I'm ex-military. And when I found out, I actually took that, what they call that death oath, that death step, where you take that last step, where after you make that oath, you can't back out the military now. You follow what I'm saying? When I found out that I had never been paid, the only way you can lawfully be paid is gold and silver. That's the only lawful money. Everything, Everything else is paper and that's printed, all it, it, copies and nothing. And numbers in a machine. You follow what I'm saying? That shit is not real money. You, you, you drop him off right here. We'll bring him back. You hit a you 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 you, put, you drop an EMP bomb, your damn account wipe out. You follow what I'm saying? You a fire, your check burn up. So that it's gonna stay in I see your boy on the I was never paid. So when I found out I put my life on the line for nothing, I got pissed. So what I wanted to do was, what I wanted to do was I said, well man, let me see how they got this spider web actually spun. You follow what I'm saying? So, luckily, luckily, growing up in, in, in the era I was born, I was born in the 70s. I was born 1970. My great grandmother, was a primary factor in my upbringing. She never told me I was black. If we use that in the house, she was quick to correct your ass. No, baby, we're Indians, we're the original people. You know what I'm saying? And I had my great, great grandmother in my life. You follow what I'm saying? She was born like in 1880. You see what I'm saying? So all that black stuff, we didn't know that. We only knew that we was Aboriginal indigenous to this land and we knew our tribes. You follow what I'm saying? Over a period of time, we became indoctrinated to accept Negro, accept color, uh, Afro-American, and finally African-American. And your own leaders have been selling you out. If this is on YouTube, I hope these motherfuckers see this. Jesse Jackson, you sold the people out. Al Sharpton, you sold the people out. Tariq Nasheed, you selling the people out. Tell these people they have a nationality. Quit bullshitting. Because right. now, man, blood is flowing in the streets. You follow what I'm saying? That's right. My cousin got killed in 2013 by Riverside Police in California. Your boyfriend. You follow what I'm saying? All this shit can be prevented by the basis of man correcting your status. Because if they take one of ours under international law, guess what? That person who did it, he got to pay. It's in the treaty. It's in the law. What they did was they wrote you outside of the law so it no longer applies to you. That's right. That's what they did. You cannot get any remedy not coming in a proper person That's of right. your ancestors, your forefathers and foremothers. There's two statuses that are related to this land. One is you sanguinous, which means rights by blood or the law of blood because of your ancestors. And they try to say, we came over here on ships. That's a lie on, on the transatlantic slave trade. That's a lie. You know how it's a lie? I'm going to explain it to you. Number one, if you go and study the genetics, right. let's just deal with the genetics. Right. We're going to talk about these people on the reservations called Indian. Number one, they are what you call Asiatic, descendants of Asiatic proto-mongoloids. The proto-mongoloids that came over here from East Asia were very dark-skinned people, heavily melanated, different texture of hair, some of them, but their cranial morphology and their facial features look different from us. You follow what I'm saying? Then you have what was called the Paleo-American Atoxinous Aborigine. They look like you, 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 and you. 